you can have all the efforts in, in the world, and if you don't have that from leadership, it is just not, it's not gonna take place. And I don't mean to hold, you know, every CEO and every C-suite 100% accountable, but it, it starts there. If leaders get it, and they want it, and they wanna do it right, then they're going to commit to growing their skill set, growing their capacity to be able to deliver it. There's a lot of initiatives and programs that start from the bottoms up, but I honestly believe we need to see a greater level of leadership. Once leaders adopt it and want it, then it moves, and it can move at lightning speed sometimes. It starts at a, just a do the right thing point of view. I don't necessarily consider myself a diversity and inclusion expert. I'm just a human who thinks that what we ought to do is create an environment where people are able to have an excellent work experience. Diversity work is in the trenches, it's hard work, it's everyday work, and you can't take it personally, you can't get discouraged, you have to realize it's a journey. You're going to get a lot of no's, just understand that. And it doesn't mean stop. The idea is to find the door that opens. So when you try one approach and you don't make the progress that you're hoping for, go ahead and go at it again, maybe back it up a little bit. Take groups, take people, take organizations where they are, look at where the goal is, and then have the patience and the, the partnership with them to slowly bring them to where they want to go. And sure, you're going to create discomfort sometimes. There's no growth without discomfort. But make sure it's two steps forward, one step back, not one step forward, two steps back. You know, I understand sometimes it can be super demoralizing to not make the progress on the Tuesday that you want to do it. But in reality, this is human change. And human change takes a lot of concerted effort. There's going to be those days that you feel completely defeated, but in order for us to give diversity a fighting chance, we have to still get up and get in those trenches every day. If nobody's rattling the cage, then change will not come. So my point to those who come next is keep going.